It's been a difficult journey, but I've had so much support and I'm so blessed, so very blessed. Teresa Jackson is walking down a path in life she never expected. When the neurologist diagnosed me, I was in a complete state of shock. Two years ago, the woman from Stevens City noticed she was shaking uncontrollably. My very first symptom was a tremor and it started in my left hand. The diagnosis, Parkinson's disease, a brain disorder that affects walking and balance that can grow worse over time. There's a lot of work to be done around the time of diagnosis when someone is diagnosed with Parkinson's. The married mother of two is slowing her symptoms. So I probably exercise about 14 or 15 hours a, a week. Working out feverishly. What the researchers know is that aggressive exercise has the potential to slow down the progression of Parkinson's. Teresa stays fit on the outside and in. So tonight, I pray for a complete healing for Teresa's life. Friends at Destination Church in Prince George nourish her soul. My faith has always been really important to me, and without my faith, I I don't know where I would be. I don't think I would have the same drive to get up every day. Teresa, though, isn't solely focused on herself. She is becoming a highly visible advocate for those living with Parkinson's. Yes, yes, just last month. Representing Frederick County, I am Teresa Jackson. Teresa stepped into an unfamiliar role in the spotlight. I did compete in Mrs. Virginia. On July 11th, encouraged by her family. Teresa is escorted by her husband, Julian. The 57-year-old entered the Mrs. Virginia pageant in South Hill, competing with women 20 years her junior. It took a while. I think at first I thought, you have lost your mind. The girls, have you seen the women that compete in Mrs. Virginia? They're talented and they're beautiful and they're young. Nerves nearly took home the crown even before the competition began. The day before I was really nervous. In fact, I was thinking, what have I done? Oh my goodness, what have I done? If I didn't have sponsors, I think I would bail. In the evening gown, swimsuit, and interview categories, Teresa right. held her own. We're adding to the line contestant number 15, Teresa Jackson. Surprising. <laughs> I, I went in with really no expectations because I'd never done it before. The pageant wasn't about vanity. I'm sure I had a bewildered look on my face because it was just so new to me and it just wasn't my world. Uh, her platform is Parkinson's awareness and the need for education in newly diagnosed patients. For Teresa, this was an opportunity to share her message of Parkinson's awareness and overcoming obstacles. I want women to know that they are enough, exactly like they are. Teresa encourages others to step outside their comfort zone. You just gotta jump in with both feet. You just got to jump in and you got to trust that um, whatever go. happens is supposed to happen. These are the Mrs. Virginia 2020 finalists. On this night, the first time pageant goer would reach the top 10 during Mrs. Virginia, a moment she will always cherish. It's really so much more than a title and a sash. It really is an opportunity for educated, intelligent, articulate, beautiful women to step out and talk about things that are important to them. As she moves across the stage of life, I think I had a lot of personal growth. Teresa Jackson is not allowing fear or a disease win in the end. I plan to slide into home base saying I gave everything. I had. Teresa Jackson is a big proponent of education and awareness. If you'd like to find out more about her condition, I'll put links to the Parkinson's Foundation and the Michael J. Fox Foundation on our website at WTVR.com. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.